By this point in the process, you may have decided that you need to waterproof your basement, but you're not sure which drainage system is best for you. In this video, we're going to discuss the different types of systems, the pros and cons of each, and which ones will be best for you. Hi, I'm Greg Backus, and I'm a project manager. I've been with AccuLevel for about four and a half years. Waterproofing your basement is important, but there are a couple of options when it comes to drainage systems. The first option that we're going to talk about is exterior water drainage. In this option, we have to remove all of the soil, all of the grass, some pieces of architecture, maybe a deck, in order to expose that exterior foundation wall all the way around the house. The foundation wall is then cleaned and sealed with a tar mastic, and then there's a plastic coating that's put over the top of that in order to preserve that tar mastic. Then, a drainage tile is set at the footing, sometimes pea gravel put around that drainage tile, and then that drainage tile is routed to a sump system that's inside of the basement, or it's routed to an, ex an area with extreme fall uh, to allow all of that water inside the drainage tile to be pushed to a different location. This is not the greatest option when installing a drainage system for your home. The reason why is because it's very costly for excavation costs, and also there's no warranty on this product. The reason there's no warranty is because there are a lot of factors that can cause that drainage tile to fail, whether it be a tree root, or a dog could dig it up, or a chipmunk could penetrate the tile and maybe get stuck inside, and then render that tile useless. At that point, we have to excavate the entire area around the house in order to find out where exactly that tile has failed. The next option that we'll talk about is an interior drainage product called Water Tunnel. This product is a drainage tile that sits directly on top of the footing inside of the house. You have to jackhammer about six to eight inches away from the wall in order to install this product. This is a good option if you're having minimal water seepage along the wall. Maybe it seeps out every once in a while when it rains and you really need to capture a minimal amount of water and take that to a sump pump. This drainage tile will rest on top of the footing, which we can't guarantee that every house has a footing underneath that floor. Newer homes built after 1960 or 1970, most of those homes will have a footing underneath the floor, um, but not all of them. So if you have a footing, this is going to work very well for you. If not, then you'll have to change to a different product, which we'll talk about in a moment. Once this water tunnel is installed, it's routed all the way around the perimeter, and then it empties out into your sump pit, which will then take the water out of the home. This product has a life of the structure warranty that guarantees that the drainage tile will never clog up or collapse or fail to take water to the sump pump. The last option we're going to talk about is a product called Fast Track. This is a larger drainage tile that we use in order to drive large amounts of water to the sump system. This is a good product just in case you do have a flood outside and you're not really used to a lot of water coming into the house but there are some instances where there's an excessive amount of water that you don't plan for. This drainage tile sits beside the footing and more concrete will need to be removed in order to get this tile underneath the floor, usually about 10 inches or so. Once this is installed all the way around the perimeter and sometimes throughout the middle of the basement floor, it's emptied out into a sump pump, sometimes more than one sump pump, and then driven out of the house. This product also has a life of the structure warranty that will guarantee that it never clogs up, collapses, or fails to take water to the sump pump. I hope this video helped you decide which system might be right for your basement. In this next video, we will answer the question, do I have to maintain or replace my basement waterproofing? If you'd like to read more about basement waterproofing, check out our blog that goes in depth on this topic. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe.